So what's up guys, this is Claire and you're still here with me in my great Sonar X1 LE tutorial series. Now in this video, I want to show you how I make song covers. It covers some basic knowledge and skills in recording, in editing, in adding audio effects, saving the audio file, it's all here. But if you want a quick tour on how to set up your project like this, I made a totally separate video. You should check it out first if you don't have any clue on what I am doing right now. I put the link down in the description box or paste it somewhere here. But if you're already set, then let's begin. So I'll make this tutorial really easy, really fast. And uh, I have one audio track where I will record my voice while making the cover. First, going to show you how to insert a track. Now, if you have a track in your library or in your desktop in your documents wherever open it to the location and then for example i'm gonna use beyonce's irreplaceable instrumental and i could just click and then drag it to sonar x1 le and then you can see the progress by uh seeing how it is imported 100 percent is finished so you have your track here and to see it clearly there. Uh, if you want to listen, th this is the instrumental part. So that is your instrumental. And then the next step is you're going to record your voice. Your headphones with you while you're recording so that your microphone won't hear what you're hearing in the instrumental. So I put my headphones on and I'm going to try to sing. I can press this. Make sure that you're in the start of the track click there and um, I could press R or press this button so I'm gonna record it when you record you can hear it, like count in metronome okay five four three two one to the left to the left To the left, to the left, oh, oh, oh. To the left, 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 to the now uh, I believe that this recording, this track has a uh, really, really annoying background noise. To hear the plane recording you can click this that's your recording of your voice it has background noise but at some point uh, when you hear the entire mix you can't notice it anymore After this step, I edit, but first I want to talk about these tools, the Select, Move, Edit, Draw, Erase tool, and the Smart tool. So I always use the Smart tool, and notice that the track is divided into two horizontally. This is the upper and the lower track. When you click and drag on the upper track, it selects the portion of the track, while if you click on the lower track, um, it moves your track to the left or to the right wherever you want and then uh, that's the select and the move tool to delete um, a portion like what I said here press start and stop press like uh, yeah I don't want that in my um, record so uh, you can do it two ways you could select this portion and then press delete on your keyboard or you could go to the edge of the track and then you can see a blue line appearing you could click it and then you just move it to the end point of uh, to where you want to end your track and see 
nothing else follows while if you want to fade in or fade out a track you could go to the corners and then click it and then drag it to here or to anywhere you want let's try it on the other end for you to notice the difference So it's fading out, right? You can hear it, right? I will return this to its original place. Now, when I had the track I want, deleted all the unnecessary things, I select the track. You can select all the tracks by the move tool, like what I did here. And then I go to process, and then apply effects, and then normalize. And then I hit OK and wait for it here and then the record will sound like this notice that it is a bit louder and what normalize does in your recording is that uh, it makes sure that the uh, sound is of the same level as the whole tracks so like it levels everything in your track and yeah for example I want to delete this part because it's just a distraction I selected it and I delete uh, and I pressed the delete button on the keyboard so the next step is the effects presets and sonar x1le so what I do is I right click here and uh, I click audio effects there are only two uh, audio effects I usually use in every recording that is the compression and the reverb so in compression I click compressor or gate and then I use the default um, default uh, preset and then I access I can't really define what compression and reverb could do, but I think you could just um, uh, notice it in your recordings that is better compressed. And I think you should just search it if you want to define it. Next is the reverb. Right click and then reverb in Studio Verb 2. Here I also click the default. I think the safest range for me here is around. 3.1 to 20. Ah, uh, That's the safe range for me. It's not too ringy nor too flat. Let's try experimenting on your own what uh, value would suit the recording best. And then if I play it, it will sound like this. You could edit your effects while playing. To edit it, you double click it and yeah, it's sounding so much. I don't memorize the lyrics, so please uh, pardon me. And, um, uh, there are other audio effects to consider, like the delay. It it makes an echo. Um, presets you could use, like if you want to sound like in a cathedral or in a piano hall or in the snare, uh, in a small chamber ensemble. You could you could I I encourage you to experiment on your taste on what you like and um for now this is the things that i could teach you because i believe that every song is different and every voice should be manually um uh, configured with these effects 